I have to say, for me, if I went to jail, the hardest part would be taking public shits. I cannot stand shitting if I'm not in my own house. All right, guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Get Hard, starring Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Now, before I start this review, I want to ask you guys a question. Are you starting to get Kevin Hart fatigue like I am? I mean, I see at least five or six films of him a year, and which is fine. I mean, I like Kevin Hart, but he is playing the exact same character, literally verbatim, in every single film I see him in, and it's starting to get old. It's starting to get very repetitive, and it's no different in this film. The only reason why I got semi-excited about seeing this is because I'm such a huge Will Ferrell fan, and you can make the argument that Will Ferrell is the exact same character in all of his films, his comedies anyway, but we don't see him as often. It's like he's not taking a script every three months and just pounding out films. And I really feel like Kevin Hart is turning into Melissa McCarthy where she started off extremely funny. You were excited to go to the movies and watch her films. And then all of a sudden you hear another Melissa McCarthy film and you go, fuck, really? I mean, she got announced for Ghostbusters and I'm going, man. Now, if she would have gotten announced for Ghostbusters Two years ago, I would have been like, oh my god, this is awesome. But anyway, I digress. I'm getting off topic. Let's talk about Get Hard, but let me know in the comments. Are you getting sick of Kevin Hart doing Kevin Hart? Because I am. So, this is a perfect segue to talk about the plot. Basically, Kevin Hart plays the exact same character he played in The Wedding Ringer. He's a small business owner, and he's helping somebody prepare for a big event. And in this case, it's Will Ferrell going to prison for 10 years for committing a crime or being framed for committing a crime. We'll see. In a very predictable, I mean, this movie is beyond predictable. The moment that it starts, they set some stuff up and you go... That's exactly what's going to happen. And you know what? At the end of the film, that's exactly what happened. Now, I know I may be coming off a little negative, but I can't stress to you guys enough on how tired I am of seeing the same film over and over and over. Now, that doesn't mean that this movie isn't funny because it definitely has some laugh out loud moments, specifically coming from Will Ferrell. I mean, his his facial expressions and ad libbing, you can tell when when the director's like, just just fucking roll the camera and Will Ferrell is standing in the middle of a room spewing out whatever comes out of his sick mind. And the majority of the time, it is hilarious, way better than what any Hollywood writer can write for him. He just blew it out of the park when it came to physical comedy. I mean, it felt a lot like Jim Carrey back in like Ace Ventura days when he used to give so much of his his performance in in his facial expressions and his body language and it was it was refreshing to see because the script itself sucks. I mean, it's another generic crappy comedy, but Will Ferrell, this was a good film for Will. As for Kevin Hart, it was just another notch on the belt. It really felt like he was he was phoning it in, and I know I'm harping on, on Kevin Hart right now, but he's known to be taking on a lot of projects at once, and it just, at least in The Wedding Ringer, it felt like he was really carrying the film, and, and he had he had something to prove. In this, it just it felt like it was another project for him, that he was just going to grab a paycheck and be on his way. I won't say that his performance was bad, because... It was Kevin Hart doing him, which is fine if you like that, and I do, but I'm tired of it once again. But he definitely had a couple of moments, specifically there's a courtyard moment where he really shined and, and it was a lot of fun and I laughed pretty hard, but the majority of it, once again, meh. And yes, 80-85% of the funny moments were shown in the trailer, but thankfully, because of Will Ferrell's ad-libbing, we got some much-needed laughter throughout the entire film. Thank God, because the script is terrible. The jokes, oh my, the racism. It's insane. Like, I think they, they stomp on every ground possible besides Asian. Uh, there's like Mexican, black, uh, there's like Jewish, there's the gay jokes. Holy shit. There is a five minute scene because Will Ferrell's practicing for jail. So he's got to learn how to suck a dick. So there is a five minute scene of him in a stall with a dick, with an actual another person's dick in a gay bar type place. And he needs to get some practice done. I didn't know whether to laugh. I mean, I chuckled at some parts, but the majority of it was... It was like me watching a horror film and I don't want to see the part where this person actually gets gutted. Well, I didn't want to see the part where his mouth literally goes on a penis. It was, <laughs> it was something. 
Now, there was a really good cameo in this film by T.I., and he plays this gang leader that Will Ferrell has to get into so that he can get some protection in prison. And he fucking killed this role. I can't believe T.I. Like, he wasn't doing any comedy. He was a serious gangster. I don't know if because he's a real gangster in real life and he just, you know, acted like himself or he just got some serious acting chops. But this dude, he killed it. I mean, it was awesome. And I was like, shit, man, T.I.'s got some chops. Go on, brother. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Overall, guys, this movie is just okay. I mean, it's predictable, generic, but if you're a huge fan of Kevin Hart or Will Ferrell, you should see this. I mean, there's laughs to be had. I just, I can't give it that high of a rating. I think it's a good date movie, or if you don't hold your standards too high for comedies, you might enjoy this a lot more than me. So, I would say, watch it on Netflix. So, what did you guys think about Get Hard? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you getting Kevin Hart fatigue like I am? What's your favorite Will Ferrell movie? Let me know in the comments below, and you can't pick Anchorman. Mine's Talladega Nights. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button, guys. Subscribe. And, of course, stay bucks.